snow continues to fall across southern Colorado. I want to give you a zoomed in look at I-25 near Guard of the Gods, an area that caused trouble earlier today, and now we have a dusting of snow covering what I believe is to be ice along I-25. It was wet out there earlier, but with temperatures falling below freezing, anything that was wet or slushy earlier is going to freeze tonight, which is just going to make a mess on the roads by tomorrow morning. Here's what's going on. The system that produced all of the snow today is now moving across Oklahoma and Kansas. It's moving out of here just in time for our next system to move in. So we have our second wave that's going to arrive tonight and continue through the day tomorrow. We're starting to see snow redeveloping across southern Colorado, and this is just a sign of things to come. Taking you through SkyCast, looking outside right now, we have the snow from Colorado Springs south toward Los Animas County. We'll continue tracking the snow expanding and intensifying as we head into tomorrow morning. By 7 o'clock in the morning, when many of you are once again hitting the roads to drive into school, work, or wherever your Friday morning is taking you, you will encounter falling snow. That will reduce visibilities. As I mentioned, any wet roads out there earlier today have now frozen. We have ice on the roads with a layer of snow on top. It's a recipe for a slow drive, so give yourself plenty of extra time. Set your alarm clocks early. By lunchtime tomorrow, most of the snow is going to focus its attention on southern I-25, where you see that band of navy. So from Walsenburg to Trinidad around the noontime hour, it is going to be a slow go with quickly accumulating snow for southern I-25 by by 6 o'clock, should see the intensity of the snow decreasing, but it will still be accumulating again, mainly south of Highway 50 as well as up across the high country. Taking you into tomorrow night, snow is going to end from northwest to south. East. So we are going to hang on to a few scattered showers around midnight for Los Animas as well as Baca County. But then by Saturday morning, most everything comes to an end with the exception of a few lingering showers up around the ski resorts. But by Saturday morning, we'll be socked in with clouds. It will be cold, but at least road conditions throughout the day on Saturday should improve in comparison to what we're expecting out there tomorrow. Take a look at your snow tracker. Here's what you can expect as far as snow totals are concerned between now and through tomorrow night. We'll end up with about two to six inches of snow along the Palmer Divide, three to eight for Teller County, one to four around eastern El Paso County. Pueblo also falling into the one to four category, four to six though. For southern I-25 around Canyon City, two to five inches of snow. Springfield could end up with three to five inches. Now we had a pretty intense band of snow that moved through Monument. We could see a burst similar to that again tomorrow. So if you find yourself beneath one of those bursts, you may end up with slightly higher totals than I even showed you on that map. 25 degrees will be your high temperature in Colorado Springs tomorrow, so it is going to feel like winter. 28 degrees on Saturday by Saturday afternoon should get a peak of sun. More sunshine on Sunday, but the sun working harder to melt the ice and snow than warm the temperature. We'll stay in the 30s through Tuesday, back in the 40s though, Wednesday and Thursday. Pueblo, 29 degrees tomorrow, low 30s expected through the weekend. Mid 30s Monday, Tuesday, 40s expected Wednesday, Thursday. Canyon City, once we get past tomorrow, should see improving conditions, especially on the roads. 33 on Sunday, 36 then Monday, Tuesday will be in the mid 30s as well. Teller County, 22 tomorrow, overnight lows in the single digits. It is going to be cold this weekend, but with the sun that we'll see Saturday afternoon and Sunday, we should start to see a lot of the ice and snow on the roads melting. So improving improving travel conditions this weekend. I wish I could say the same for tomorrow, but tomorrow's going to be a tough one on the roads. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if we have a few delays tomorrow morning also, so keep it tuned to Caradio News Channel 13. Abby Oconee will get you out the door. We'll have team coverage beginning at 4.30. All right. Thanks so much.